Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down into bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some great news. First up, former White House senior staffer joins top blockchain lobbying group alongside Visa and Goldman Sachs. And this is pretty interesting about what is going on with the banks, which leads us really into our main story, which is USAA, a bank primarily for military personnel and veterans, which is now open to everybody, has already integrated with Coinbase. The ramifications for this bank to be integrated in this way is staggering. We're going to go over what this all means and how it all plays out. Also, billionaire Tim Draper unveils his crypto holding, which is not a big story, but one of the things that he's holding is XRP and also some other really unknown types of cryptocurrency, which I thought was fascinating. So we'll go over that. And that'll lead us into Q of the day, which we'll go at the very end. But first, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today, it is September 24th. It's about 2 p.m. Texas time, getting done late because uh, <laughs> just cannot catch up. But uh, here we are, Bitcoin up 4% for the day. Nice, 10.6, hopefully it's 11. Ethereum, hey, it's around 350, I'm pretty happy. Tether's Tether, and uh, yeah. XRP, look, I know people have been saying, hey, why do you always, you know, poo, poo, poo all over XRP and whatever else? Look, I'm a holder, and I will just tell you one thing. If you are new to the crypto space, I'm just be honest with you. Um, XRP really let me down. And uh, that's the truth. It really let me down. People are going to say, ah, oh, well, it's going to come back. Sure, it could. If you are new, I will just say this. Uh, XRP has, it could have, it could have tremendous upside potential. Out of all the ones, I mean, Bitcoin's down 50% from its all-time high. Ethereum is down like 70 or 80%. Tell tell no one cares about that. Uh, but XRP is down like 95% from its all-time high. So if you're looking for a big upshot, it might be XRP. I don't know. It seems to have nothing but partnerships and great news and everything is fantastic. Yet, it is just about like a stable coin. Uh, the market goes up, XRP stays the same. Market goes down, XRP pretty much stays the same or goes down a little bit lower. So I will just say that uh, do your research, check it out. I personally hold it. Uh, I will not uh, I will not get rid of it because I'm just too stubborn and I'll go down with the ship and that's what it's going to be. Polkadot up 9%. Uh, wow, it's pretty good. Bitcoin Cash, 4.6. Chainlink, uh, massive run, 34%. Holy smokes, $10. I didn't see that coming. And what else we got? Cardano up 7. It's pretty nice, but still down. 11% for Tezos, 17% for Cosmos. Very nice, 10.5% for VeChain. I like to see that. Where's our unit? Ah, there's my unit. Swap 13%, almost at five dollars, not too bad. And Theta Network, look at that jump 15%, 20 for the week, 63 cents. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, Theta is gonna be huge, it's gonna be big. Uh, if you believe in e gaming and what's going on with streaming, uh, you should be looking at Theta. I own Theta, I think it's gonna be big. I need to start doing the live streams on Theta, I will definitely get that done this week on top of the other thousand things I have to do, but I definitely need to do that. And that's it. Look, there's some big stuff. Let's just get into it, huh? First up, this is huge. White House senior staffer joins blockchain lobbying group. So what's happened here? So first of all, the lobbying group Chamber of Digital Commerce has onboarded former acting White House Chief of Staff, Mike Mulvaney. Who the heck is that? Well, if you don't know, that's Mike Mulvaney, and he was President Trump's former chief of staff. He served as director of the Office of Management and Budget, or OMB, from 2017 to 2020, and he was also served as the acting director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau from 2017 to 2018 as well. He also served in the State House of Representatives and then the State Senate. So to say that this guy knows his way around Washington, D.C. is a uh, terrible, terrible understatement. This is the guy that you need on your side if you want to get through all the swamp of what it is over there. So that's Mulvaney. And on top of Mulvaney's appointment, uh, heavyweights Visa, Goldman Sachs, and Six Digital Exchange have also joined as executive committee members. So what they're trying to do is ram down some legislation because they need to get it because they know that they can't move forward without legislation really taking over or some regulations. The founder of the Chamber of Digital Commerce, Perian Boring, noted that noted that Mulvaney's longstanding experience will help them pacify nervy regulators. His experience as a legislator is very valuable because he can help us navigate Congress, which is complicated, obviously, right? Um, it's not about what you know, it's who you know. And this guy knows probably everybody. Mulvaney said, I believe U.S. advancement of blockchain development and policy is crucial to our continued success as a global leader in technological evolution. Also, he probably got paid pretty fat. Just me. 
So regarding the onboarding of the single Goldman Sachs, it falls in line with ongoing trend of traditional finance exploring the world of cryptocurrencies. And what I'm going to show you in a little bit is going to blow your mind. Just last month, Goldman Sachs appointed a new head of digital assets who will help the bank in creating its own token tied to fiat currency. It's pretty funny how Goldman Sachs talks about how Bitcoin isn't even an asset class and it's worthless, essentially. And it's like, you know what, though? Uh, we want to do our own. But, uh, you know, the other stuff is worthless. Of course it is. Of course it is because you want to make all the money. And that's just what you're all about. And that's just how it goes. Let's just call a spade a spade, right? I mean, we're all in the game. Uh, that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. But we know the truth because we've been here for a while and we know what is actually happening. Lastly, Visa has partnered with U.S. cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase to issue Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP debit cards. The digital payments firm also recently applied for a new patent for a digital fiat currency. I respect Visa because they're just like, you know what? Hey, um, we're here to make some money. We're not here to change the world. We're here to make a profit. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what they do. So going back to the last paragraph where it talks about traditional finance, exploring the world of cryptocurrencies, let me show you something. First up, this is USAA. If uh, you're unfamiliar with it, it's a pretty huge bank. It's, uh, you know, across the world. It was mostly set up for members of the armed services. This was like my, one of my first bank accounts when I just got into the army. It wasn't my only bank account. I, mean, I was 18 years old. And uh, I got into this and I've been with them ever since. That's how you grab attention. That's how you build a community. You get them when they're young. And uh, it's just growing and growing and growing. Now, uh, you can get a USA account as a non-member of any of the armed services, so it doesn't really matter if you're uh, served or not now. It's just a huge bank. But it's fantastic. It works for me pretty well. I love it. So I got an email today from Jonathan, and Jonathan said, hey, man, just so you know, uh, USA is integrated with Coinbase. And I was like, no, they're not. That's No, that's not true. And uh, I said, yeah, it is. And he showed me you know, everything that, that it was, and I actually called up USAA and I said hey what's going on with this are you guys integrating with Coinbase and it took me like 20 minutes they had me in hold for like 20 minutes it, I mean you know that's just how it was because like we don't know anything sir it is so new of what just happened that even the customer service reps aren't clear of what is going on so but this is here this is now this is actually my account and of course I had to blank out some things because you know I want a little privacy and uh, when you go in there uh, for USA account holders under the add a non-USA account, you just click on that and um, they have a lot of different options there, but bank or investment or insurance, because they're a bank, they're a full service bank, they're offering all these different services like ETFs and, and uh, insurance, dental insurance, had, uh, medical insurance, uh, doing 401ks, doing all the different things you would think that a bank does on top of that, they're doing a Coinbase Bitcoin wallet. Interesting. So I clicked on that and the next screen it says, you are now leaving USAA and being directed to a site built for USAA. You may select the USA or whatever, whatever. And you press continue if it doesn't. So once you click on that, you'll be taking this nice screen where it says sign into your Coinbase account to authorize USAA. All right. And we'll put a little two-step verification. Show sure. All right. You'll be redirected to USAA after the authorization. Access your account information. Authorize. And would you look at that? So when you log into your USAA account, Here's what you're going to see from now on. It's going to be all the different things that you have invested in or have maybe have not invested in yet. Oh my God. Zcash, I mean, everything is here. And not, not only that, these little I want to, this is only specific to USAA. So when I click on that, oh my God. So you're going to be able to be going back and forth, you're going to be able to pay for it. And uh, man, i kind of speechless actually. So like this, the Zcash wallet, uh, I don't have Zcash, but holy smokes, holy smokes. So it's going to have everything here, your Bitcoin value, transaction, account details, everything that you want. You're going to be able to, to transfer back and forth from probably fiat to any kind of cryptocurrency, select an account. And probably this right here for select an account is going to open up your checking, your savings or how many or whatever you have right there. That's amazing. That really is amazing how they implemented this so fast. I'm sure this wasn't like uh, one of those things that just happened overnight, but that's pretty pretty impressive. So here's the big question, why they do it? Why do USAA say, yeah, let's do that. Let's go through all this, this hard work for just some kind of uh, nerd money that's gonna go away. No, they didn't do that. They probably, they have integrated this and they're gonna get a cut of every type of transaction you probably do 
and they're gonna share it between themselves. And not only that, the amount of members that they have, it states right here, this is 13 million. I don't know when this is, but uh, I can just tell you this. It's not only the people that are in this bank, it's the people that they will talk to, it's their other family members that they have when they sort of talk about cryptocurrency digital assets. And you have to remember, ah, oh, this was brilliant. If you're looking for honorable people to be your evangelists, who would you go for? Would you go for the local clown academy or whatever it is? Or would you go to some of the most respected people in usually every country, which are the military? And the military are here, and they're going to start talking about cryptocurrency digital assets. And who doesn't want to listen to a person who would lay, lay down their life for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? It's a brilliant move. It's a brilliant move. So everything I said about Coinbase, as far as like, uh, you know, they have poor customer service and their systems only breaks, only breaks down when it's convenient and it's just awful. Uh, I'm gonna, that's, that still remains the same. <laughs> Let's just be honest. But uh, they're going to win. They're going to win this little battle. Uh, with who's going to be on top by moves like this. And um, I mean, there's still going to be decentralized exchanges. They're still going to make headways. I don't know how long it's going to take to really disrupt that whole industry, but banks are going to be the intermediary for a while until people get comfortable and then they will yeah, essentially get phased out. But uh, for right now, it was a good move. Tip of the hat to you, Coinbase. All right, let's move on. Last up, this really isn't a big story. I mean, it's Tim Draper. It's always big with Tim talking, right? Tim Draper, the billionaire, uh, this is what he has in his portfolio, which is actually pretty interesting. He says, yes, I'm an owner of XRP, owner of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Tezos, and I'm an owner of Aragon. So what's Aragon? Well, earlier this year, Draper said he made a million dollar bet on Ethereum-based platform Aragon, a crypto project designed to enable users to create and manage a decentralized organization. So like another DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. So we'll see how it all works out. I'm not very familiar with Aragon. Maybe you can uh, help me out. Put that in the uh, comment section about what it all is and where you see Aragon going. But it is interesting that he is an owner of uh, XRP. So that's uh, interesting. A little backstory. I like these little stories. In 2019, uh, Draper revealed he owns 30,000 Bitcoin, which he bought at a price of $632 per coin in 2014. But Bitcoin's price around 10.5, uh, his Bitcoin treasure chest is worth 315 million, representing a 1,500% increase from his initial investment. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, he got this from an auction from the US Marshals. It was a seizure of Bitcoin and he paid rock bottom dollar for it. So good for Draper. But Draper's a smart guy. He invests in a lot of uh, big things like Uber and Hotmail and Tesla and type, those types of things. I mean, I'm sure he's had his misses. No one's 100%. But uh, hey, guy's a billionaire, so he knows uh, something. About, he knows something about investing. I will say that. So that's it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Just a little quick story. But speaking of XRP, let's jump into the office for the Q of the day. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the office for uh, Q of the day, statement of the day. So uh, <laughs> what a crazy day, right? I mean, we had some, we had some pretty good stories about Draper. We had stories about USAA and the banks. I mean, there's a lot of different things going on. And it just seems like right now is just one of those times when everything kind of comes together just the way it should. And uh, I think we're in for some exciting times. And I don't know what's going to happen uh, with the uh, uh, different things that are, are going to come up as far as the uh, traditional market and cryptocurrency market. But I will say this. Uh, investors do not like any kind of uncertainty. And when we have a new presidential election coming about, which is going to happen in like, I think around 45 days or so, um, people are going to get spooked. And I believe that there's going to be some turmoil. However, if you look back at all the history, you're going to see uh, what happens is that there's a lot of uncertainty, uh, there's a little fluctuations. And after that, after that, it all stabilizes. It really doesn't care. It really doesn't matter who really comes in. Uh, if you look at the history, it doesn't matter if it's uh, George Bush or Clinton or Reagan or Carter or just going all the way back. Um, it usually just settles out. Now, uh, after that all happens, I mean, uh, you know, depending on how, who the other person leads will be, will be different, but that's just one aspect of it. But I, I see bright things, and if there's any in indication of what we just went over, uh, I think the sky's the limit. So Q of the day uh, comes to it under the topic that we had talked about previously. This is actually from Leon, and Leon asks, he says, hey, Rob, could you advise or find out if Celsius We'll be doing the XRP Spark giveaway on their wallet. I think it's going to happen on the 12th of December, or do I have to move my XRP to another wallet? So good question. And I actually reached out to Celsius, 
and there are no plans at the moment for them to um, be a part of that XRP airdrop. If you don't know, um, for all you XRP holders, and there's a lot of you, I am one of those people. Um, for every XRP, you're going to get so many of these Spark tokens. Uh, Spark is going to be is going to um, uh, give way to the functionality of smart contracts. So that's uh, just one more thing that the XRP ledger will be able to do, or XRP and uh, will actually be able to do. So that sounds good. I don't know if it's going to uh, be the next Ethereum killer, uh, like somebody asked me. I have no idea because there's so many Ethereum killers out there. Uh, I've been around for a while, and I can just tell you that everything's an Ethereum killer. But uh, still number two in Coin Market Cap, so or Coin Gecko. So uh, what are you going to do? So as far as that goes, no, you uh, uh, they will not be doing it. As far as I know, this is going to happen in December, so they could change their mind. I mean, all the exchanges could change their mind. But uh, if you're like me, you like to just have things done so it's just not a hassle, not in the back of your mind gnawing away at you. Uh, I did a video uh, a little bit ago and I talked about uh, exactly how to set it up onto your Nano Ledger or on XUMM. And you can just follow along in that video. It's like eight minutes, it's super simple. I've already done it, it's already done, it's already taken care of. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to go to any, I don't have to change to any other uh, exchange or any other wallet, it's just done. So. If you want to do that, I will put that in the uh, uh, description of this video and you can check that out. Also, that video is going to go to Dan Clips. And Dan Clips uh, was created uh, by me for two reasons. First of all, people don't have 27, 25, 30 minutes listening to me ramble on uh, on all these different topics. So I wanted to break them all up into pieces so that it's very easy for someone just to go, I want to watch that or I want to see that when it comes up. And they're like, you know, five, seven minute pieces. Not a big deal. That's the first reason. Second reason is I don't want YouTube to come in and be like, hey, Digital Asset News, great job. We're going to ban you. And then my channel's gone. I have to start from scratch. So I wanted a backup just to make sure. And that was the easiest way. So uh, that video that I just talked about will be on Dan Clips. And if you subscribe over there, I do a lot of um, uh, specialty videos over there that are exclusive just for Dan Clips. So uh, you, can, you can check that out. So that uh, that is really uh, it. But I will tell you that that last story we talked about with, with USAA, um, you know, I, I have to say again, uh, thanks so much uh, to uh, Jonathan for putting out that story or letting me know all about it. It's just amazing to me that that banks are really FOMOing in, in into, the, into this, this whole thing. I mean, I'm sure this wasn't like, like a last minute decision, but like I said, if the banks are getting involved and they're coming on board, how far away do you think it is for everybody else behind him who actually banks there? How much do you think uh, USAA, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and all these different places, and Goldman Sachs is not a bank, but uh, all these places are going to actually push this product because they're now a part of it? Um, if I would have had news like this in 2017, I mean, who knows where the market would have gone? And uh, for the next bull run, I think it's going to dwarf the one in 2017. Just my thoughts. All right, so thanks a lot. Let's jump back. All right, so that's it. So thanks for sticking with me till the end. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I have this handy dandy exchange and wallet fees Google spreadsheet. It's in the description of every one of my videos. It's a link. It looks just like this. So if you're looking for an alternative to Coinbase, even though Coinbase is going to take over the world apparently, uh, there's a lot of different uh, recommendations. I personally use as I call it now, my one, two, three punch, Celsius, Voyager, and Kraken. Uh, and you can just take a look at all their different fees, which I have listed here, and you can compare all the things, even any kind of uh, interest you might get for uh, holding your cryptocurrency on these wallets and exchanges. So it's all right there. And I got everything from uh, Coinbase, Kraken, Celsius, Voyager, Gemini, Gemini Pro, uh, or Active Trader, Binance, Uphold, which we just talked about. And just so you know, this is on, and I put a link to it, there is a 65-day hold on transferring crypto from Uphold to an external wallet if you deposit funds from your bank using ACH. So just be aware of that. Uh, and there's the link right to their support um, page so you can verify that. Uh, Abra, Simple Swap, Uniswap, Cash App, eToro, don't recommend them, Crypto.com. And uh, so on the top is there's an affiliate link. You don't have to use it. I mean, you can go right to Coinbase and sign up. It's fine. But if you use mine, you get between 10 and 25 bucks uh, for all these different ones. And as you know, I always tell you, uh, make sure you have plenty of on and off ramps because in 2017, during the great bull run, 
um, they were shutting these exchanges down. You could not even get into Binance or Coinbase because there were so many people flocking in. And what do you think is going to happen this time? Probably the same thing. So definitely sign up for as many as you can just to make sure you're not holding the bags like I was at the end of that bull run. Another story for another time. All right. Thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. If you like these types of, sto of uh, videos, maybe two is going to pop up your left and right. Check those out. And I'll see you on the next one.